Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I've done a sit down video, but I just wanted to come on here and talk about why I'm going to upgrade to the iPhone 15 Pro. As of now, I'm definitely upgrading. It's iPhone season. I wanted to make this video because I just wanted to. And I know some of you guys are Apple lovers just like me. iPhones are where it's at because I'm not really big on the Apple Watch or AirPods even really. I have AirPods, but like it took me forever to get them. I don't like iPads. I do have a MacBook, but I wait until it literally dies to get a new one, which is like five, six years because I'm pretty hard on computers, like with video editing and like photo editing sometimes. I don't really use my computer for anything else except for videos and for school, really. That one's gonna definitely last me a long time, so I'm not gonna be getting a new computer for a while. Uh, but when it comes to the iPhone, iPhones and cameras. I guess I have no self-control, but it's not just iPhones. It's like any phone that was like the it phone, I would convince my mom it was probably close to making a whole ass PowerPoint of why we needed to switch phone carriers to T-Mobile because I wanted the sidekick. It was that level. Like as a kid, I would do everything I could to save up my money, sell things to get what I wanted. Like when it came to phones and I would convince my mom like, oh, the price is better. I don't know. And I actually ended up convincing her most of the time. And then she would always give me her upgrade when it came to iPhones. She loved her Blackberry. She loved the Razer when it came out. Like, I don't know. I just was really good at convincing her. And now I just convince myself and make videos on why I definitely should upgrade. So starting off, the iPhone 14 Pro is probably my least favorite phone of all iPhone history. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the 7 either. I didn't like the round edges. So like the 6, 6S, anything with like the rounded edges, I didn't really like. But this one, I also don't really like. I will tell you my favorite iPhones have been the iPhone 5. I loved the iPhone 5 and I loved my 12 Pro. Um, I really wish that I didn't get rid of the 12 Pro. My mom ended up getting it when I got this one, but everything about the 12 Pro was awesome. There was only like one thing that I didn't like about the 12 Pro, which was the shiny edges, kind of like this one. I didn't really like that about it because you can see the fingerprints and it just like gives me the ick. But this, this phone has probably been my least favorite. Okay, so my first reason why I definitely would want the new phone is because this is heavy. The stainless steel, when I first unboxed this, I was like, whoa, it's so heavy. It feels like more expensive, more luxurious. No, it's actually a pain in the butt because whenever I pick up my mom's phone now, my old phone, I'm like, wow, this is so light, it's so nice. So definitely don't like the weight of this phone. When I did the comparison video, comparing the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 12, both the pro models, this phone is thicker. I don't like that either. It's a weird thickness. I wish it was thinner. I wish it was, again, like the 12 Pro because this is just, it's not too thick, but it's not as thin as it could be. And it's like not that comfortable. Third thing, the battery life sucks. I don't know what's wrong with it. I charge it every night. I don't really put it on low power mode, but I've never really had to use low power mode for an iPhone before. The, the battery on this is like the worst battery that I've ever had in a phone. So don't like that about it. I don't like the stainless steel border. Like I was mentioning, you can see all of the fingerprints on it. Not that I ever rock the phone without a case, but I don't like the fingerprints. I don't like that it's so noticeable. I think it's just, it's, it's not cool. Like also too, I'm getting really sick of seeing three dots. So that's why when I upgrade, I'm going to get the black version because whenever I see like people take mirror selfies, I just like the entire black square rather than seeing like the three cameras because it's getting really old. Like they need to update the design. I love the design of the 10 and 10s. I ended up getting the 10s max, but it was way too big. I will never go to a plus size phone or a max size phone because it's just too big. But I loved the two cameras just right here. That design was probably my most favorite design wise because it was just so pretty. Having the three dots here, if I was gonna get another iPhone in the silver white color, I would just get the regular iPhone 15 and get the two cameras like one here and one here because it's just more aesthetically pleasing. Like the camera on this thing, I'm getting really sick and tired of seeing just like three dots in the mirror. I just want it like all black. 
that's not a huge reason, but it's just a reason. <laughs> the things that I've been hearing about the iPhone 15 Pro, it's lighter, the battery's gonna be better. That's what they always say, but this battery actually was the worst, so that was like a lie. I do like the edges that they are like titanium and they won't like show fingerprints on them as much, so that'll be a benefit. I am a little nervous about the iPhone shape. If they do the curved edges, like they're saying, I hope it's not too curved, because again, I hated the rounded edges of the other iPhone models. I love the rectangular vibe of like this model. I definitely hope the glass isn't too curved. I don't think it will be, but you know, we'll see how it is. I like the flatness of this model. But again, there's more things that I don't like about this than I do. So this video was kind of pointless. I don't know, I just wanted to convince you why you should get the new iPhone. You can have Apple buy back your phone, which I'm going to do to get the new one. And the main reason why I wanna do that now rather than later is because when the new model comes out, like in the future, this will go down in value. So I have to do it like the next generation. So I can't wait basically for the 16 because then this will be valued lower. So if I wanna change my phone, like the best time to do it is now when this is going to be like the highest Apple will offer you to buy it back. So that's another reason why I am deciding to upgrade. And I know the price increase is going to hurt a bit, but it is what it is. I don't really like this phone. Don't get the iPhone 14 if you're thinking about it because it's just not the best that Apple has done in my opinion. And I've been using iPhones for quite a while now. Um, my first iPhone I think was the iPhone 4. That's when I convinced my mom to get a new phone plan. So anyway, that is going to be it for this little video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.